Hello, I'm Dame on Mercy Solutions. Um, today we take a brief look at Exif Tool by Phil Harvey. Um, Exif Tool is an open source tool that uh, can be downloaded by going to exiftool.org. Um, Exif Tool allows you to um, read and write metadata contained within a file. So, quick overview: metadata is descriptive text that's embedded into a file. So in the case of pictures, you would have information about the camera, maybe the camera's serial number, um, the date the photographs were taken, uh, the lens was used, focal length, along with other uh, descriptive and useful information such as the size of the file. Um, Exif tool can extract all of this, um, which you can then use to search um, and manipulate the files. So if we jump straight in, as we can see here on the computer, I've got a folder here which I've called metadata, and I've put some um, Nikon D850 NEF files and camera raw files. I've already downloaded from uh, Exif tool here the Windows executable version and placed into uh, this uh, folder on my machine so I can then run the command from here. So you can see if I simply type Exif tool and specify the path to where these files are here, and we run this. Okay, so you can see we've uh, returned all of the metadata that's contained within the files. You can see this has actually scanned five images in there in one directory. Now if I actually go to the folder here, you can see there's five files here, but I've also got a subdirectory. So there's more files underneath. Now we can actually ask the Exif tool to actually scan all of the subfiles by putting the tack R on the end. If I now rerun this, we can see we've actually now scanned seven images and three directories. Now, this is very basic. We can do a lot more advanced stuff. So say for instance, we had a group of photographers all coming back with various images and we wanted to find out which serial numbers the cameras were being used. We could actually, with Exif tool here, we can actually with Exif tool specify to obtain say just the serial number and modified date from uh, metadata. So let me uh, run this. What we see now is we get back just the serial numbers and modified dates. However, we can make this even more useful um, by simply putting attack CSV. What will happen now is it will output a uh, comma delimited text, which we can then redirect to a uh, spreadsheet spreadsheet.csv and if I run this in fact what I'll actually do just to show the full power of this if I take the couple of tags that I was just interested in here and specify none it will put all of the tags into this uh, spreadsheet so let me run this take a few seconds and this is redirected the uh, comma separated values to spreadsheet csv so let me open this uh, file up and we'll take a look at it. Okay, so I've now opened the file spreadsheet and you can see it's opened up in Excel. And you can see what the CSV value has done is put all of the individual fields um, or values of metadata found within the file into uh, individual columns. And we can go through and we can find all of the details there. Um, we've got various information. Obviously this can now be searched and uh, look through quite quickly. So again, this is very useful if you wanted to uh, locate you know, what lens was used on the camera, um, or even if you wanted to get um, geodata, you know, if your camera records into the files, um, the geotag information as to where a picture was taken, you can use this to also extract and view what's contained within the file. I uh, hope you find that uh, useful. Um, some of the other things you can also do with Exif tool is actually write to the files. Now, where this could be quite interesting is say you've had taken a load of pictures and the date was wrong. Say your camera was out by a year or a month. You can actually use Exif tool to go and correct the date and time information in all of the files. So this can also be useful. Um, if you'd like to have a look at this in more detail or like me to look at this in more detail, um, comment below, let me know what you need help with and what you'd like to see. 
and uh, if there's enough interest, I'll uh, produce some more videos. Thank you.